Are you experiencing any sudden network disconnections from the PlayStation Network on your PlayStation 5? Or are you experiencing any slow internet speeds or significant ping or lag? Hey there, thanks for joining me. And in today's video, I wanna share with you the one trick that helped me with this sudden network disconnection issue. And it's one that significantly smoothed out my internet connection in general and significantly lowered my ping and lag when I was on online multiplayer. As always, if you enjoy any part of this video or find it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest helpful PlayStation videos just like these. Let's get right into it. To show you how to get to this one trick that I'm talking about, you first wanna start at the home screen of the PlayStation 5, and then you wanna go up to the gear icon on the top right, which is your general settings menu. Once you go into your general settings menu, you wanna find the menu that says network. Once you go into your network settings menu, you'll see a series of menus here, and what you first wanna do is go down to where it says settings, and then you wanna go down to setup internet connection. If you've already set up your internet connection, you'll first see the, the network that you're already connected to or registered, and the ones below it are networks that are found nearby, but you may have not connected to yet. Find the network that you'd like to connect to, and I don't know if you've noticed this already, but if you look down in the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll see that there's an options menu with a three bar button next to it. So that's the three bar button that's on the top right hand corner of your controller next to the trackpad. If you hit that three bar button, you'll see where it says search and then Wi-Fi frequency bands. By default, Wi-Fi frequency bands will be set at automatic, but you can actually change this to any radio band that you want, whether it's five gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz and lock it in on that radio band. This is key to lock in a radio band to either five gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz because what could be happening with the sudden network disconnection issue is that it's going in between the five and the 2.4 gigahertz radio bands too much to the point that it ends up either significantly lagging or just dropping you from the PlayStation network altogether because the stability of that connection between your PlayStation 5 and your router just simply wasn't strong enough. Locking that radio band to 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz, make sure that you maintain that same connection all the way through. I recommend that you try the 5 gigahertz radio band first, test the internet connection, and then try the 2.4 gigahertz radio connection, and then test that one too. So let me walk you through how to do that. So once you choose the 5 gigahertz radio band, you go into that, and then you go back to the network settings menu, and then you wanna go up back up to where it says connection status. Once you're at connection status, you want to go down to where it says test internet connection. Once you hit the test internet connection, that'll run another connection test between your PlayStation 5 and your router. The reason why you want to test your internet connection after you've chosen that radio band is so that you can make sure that your download and upload speeds are similar to the ones that you had when you're running an automatic connection. And also you want to make sure that it actually is connecting to the internet and staying there as well. In order to make sure that this test absolutely works for you though, is you wanna go back to your game that you're running and make sure that it's not actually disconnecting you from the network like it was when you were running an automatic connection. If you go back to your online multiplayer game and you find that you in fact were not dropped from the network like you were beforehand and you're experiencing a significantly smoother connection, that was definitely most likely due to this radio band intermittent switching and locking it in to either 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz definitely is the key to making sure that you stay on the PlayStation Network. So be sure to give this network connection trick a try and let me know down in the comment section below if this helped you as well. Are you looking for a new pair of gaming headsets to accessorize your PlayStation 5 with? I recently published a video and I'll leave it up here and down in the descriptions below comparing the SteelSeries Arctis 7P with the Pulse 3D headset as well as the Sony Platinum headset and I put them all head to head to see which headset is in fact the best headset you can get for the PlayStation 5. So be sure to check that video out if you want to find out more. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest helpful PlayStation videos just like these. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.